Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Aoife Gaffney here from Prudence Money Penny Coaching, the money coach for Irish women. A question that has come up recently in some of my, with some of my clients and some of my classes and online webinars is how do I check my credit score? How do I check my FICO score? How do I find out what the banks know about me? Well, just to make it clear, we have a slightly different system to the system that exists in the States, which is the FICO score, which comes from Fair Isaac, and also the system that exists in the UK. So there are credit bodies out there that don't exist in Ireland. So this uh, video is about how to find out what is being held about you from a credit point of view from an Irish perspective. So up until recently, there was only one way that you could get access to your credit reports and it would cost you six euro. So if you went to the website icb.ie, you could request a copy of your credit records from the Irish Credit Bureau. And you can do it, you can still do it online or you can uh, download the form and print it off. The quickest way to do it is to do it online. So click this link here. And here you see you can apply online, you can download the form, or if you don't have access to a printer and you don't like online, you can simply phone up the Irish Credit Bureau on this phone number here. They will send you out a form. Uh, you fill it out and post it back and it takes about five to 10 working days. It's generally pretty prompt. So that, that's pretty good. Now in the last six months, there has been an addition to the Irish market and it is the central credit register central credit register which is run by the central bank of ireland so this resource is completely and utterly free and i tried it out recently and i had my my records back within about five days so go to centralcreditregister.ie go to the borrower area and hit submit a request so there's no postal applications at the moment um, what you do is um, the the writing in gold, by the way, are they are hyperlinks. So I found this site a little bit hard to navigate because I didn't realize that they, these were clickable links. So if you want to request a copy of your credit report, it's completely free. You click go to the credit report. So if you are an individual or sole trader, you're on the left side. If you're anything other, go to the right hand side. So here uh, you simply Scroll down, go to new request, and start the request. So what you need to do is, let's hit start the request there. What you need to do is simply follow the instructions on the screen. So you want your credit report. Fill out all the information and it then gives you a form. Once you've filled out all the information, it then gives you a form for you to print off, sign, scan, upload, and then you upload proof of your address, proof of your PPS number and photo ID. So there's a few extra bits and pieces to the equation. Now, if you get your report back, and it's right, that's fine, you don't have to do anything. But there's a few interesting bits and pieces here that you can do to help yourself. So let's say there was a mistake. If there was a mistake, the f which and mistakes happen, people are people. If there's a mistake, the first place you go to is the person who made the mistake. So if you borrowed money from the bank down the road, you requested your credit records, and it turned out that uh, the information they were holding about you is incorrect. The first place you go to is the person who is holding that information. So you go back to the bank down the road and you say, this is what should it, it, these reports should say and have your requests amended. You can then request an amendment with the central credit register using this section here. So if you believe the information is incorrect, you can request to have that amended because mistakes happen. What you can also do is, um, if something happened 
that wasn't a mistake. You missed a payment, something happened, particularly in the last 12 months, 12 to 18 months, things have been a bit peculiar. You have the right to annotate your own records. So you can say, I missed this payment in this month for this amount because I'm now back on track. This is the arrangement I've reached. So you have the right to use your own voice. And this is really useful, particularly if the, you think there's something following you around. This section here is very, very, very useful because it saves you having to repeat yourself. And it also means that if there is something following you and you do apply for a loan, you are bringing up the problem first. You're not waiting for the bank to find out a problem that you already know, or realistically that you really need to know. It's your responsibility to know what information is being held about you. Now this section here, uh, it is not used very often, but it's useful to know that it is there. If you feel that somebody has taken your identity or something has happened that you absolutely do not recognize on your credit report, you have no clue as to how something happened or there is no way that that loan in your name, that credit card, that absolutely was not you, you can place a suspension. Um, here, so you can put a notice of suspected impersonation. And it's completely free to do all these things. So it's very, very useful to know, first of all, how you request information that's being held about you, and it's now completely and utterly free, which is absolutely fantastic. And then if it's wrong, you can have it fixed. If something happened, that's not a mistake, it genuinely happened, but you have the right to add in your story. So you can give your side of the story. And if identity theft happens, or you were scammed, or something happened, which happened to me, you have the right to put a hold on everything. And all of this can be done completely and utterly free. So the more you know about that yourself, the more empowered you are.